Kyrie Irving going to the Dallas Mavericks. Kyrie has requested a trade. Even if it is one year, hmm. I think that Dallas is trying to prove to Luka that they're willing to go all in on winning. Super excited, grateful for the opportunity. Really feel wanted, and, and I know that they had to give up some pieces for me to get here. So I'm just in taking it one minute at a time and uh, just focus on what I can control, which is how I prepare. And, you know, the reporting and, and the journalism that was going to come out of why I left, I, I knew that was going to be speculation. You know, just sitting in the seat today, I, I just know I want to be places where I'm celebrated uh, and not just tolerated or, or, or just, you know, kind of dealt with in a way that doesn't make me feel respected. Definitely disappointing. I can't sit here and say I'm not disappointed on not being able to land such a talent, someone that I had great chemistry with and know I got great chemistry with on the floor that can help you win, you know, championships. The Dallas Mavericks have the deadliest duo in the NBA. Luka waiting for support and waiting for Kyrie to find his spot. And now Dallas in transition. Luka inside. It goes. It's a basket. But how did two of the most unguardable players in NBA history end up on the same team? No, you're wearing an Atlanta hat, but if a trade goes through, according to Woj, you will actually be headed to Dallas. I chose Dallas, uh, number one, really was the most inviting place that I had been through two throughout the year. The Dallas Mavericks have transitioned into a fast-paced team, representing a significant shift in their approach to the season, one that has been put in motion since the acquisition of Kyrie Irving. The shift not only showcases a big change in the style of the game they're used to playing, but an adaption to the talents and strengths of their roster and the dynamic duo of Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. Great man, he's a really great guy. You know, obviously basketball player, uh, the way he is, but it's just been amazing. Under Luka Doncic's leadership, the Mavs have been long known for a much more calculated style of play and orchestrating each offense to maximize each possession's value. That low dribble, help Doncic behind the back for the. Foster, the crew chief, has got the near Mitchell trying to force a pass. Nice! With an exclamation point on the night for the Mavericks. While this approach has been effective, they often saw themselves trailing in terms of pace compared to the rest of the league, favoring precision over speed. However, the aerial of Kyrie Irving, a player known for his agility, exceptional ball handling and scoring introduced a new dimension to the Mavericks gameplay, meeting a significant strategic shift. Kyrie Irving's impact on the Mavericks pace cannot be overlooked. His ability to push the ball up the court, create off the dribble and finish at the rim or from beyond the arc at high speeds has injected a sense of urgency into the Mavericks offense. This change has not only allowed Dallas to exploit fast break opportunities more effectively, but also to unsettle defenses before they can set up, creating mismatches and open shots in transition. This resulted in them now being able to thrive on quickness and fluidity, creating a new way of breaking down opponents' defense. Uh, look out oh. here! The synergy between Doncic and Irving has been at the heart of this transformation. While Doncic remains the primary orchestrator, his game has also evolved to complement Irving's strengths. Luka has embraced the faster pace, leveraging his vision and passing ability to find Irving in stride or capitalize on the space created by Irving's gravity on the court. Play the defense by Lively, the run by Kyrie. Oh my goodness. Cheers. Oh, no, now Kyrie trailing the play. He's going to have a go. It's Johnson. This mutual adaption has not only elevated their individual performances, but has also enhanced their collective impact, making the Mavericks a more versatile and unpredictable force on offense. But no one really understands the Mavericks' commitment to this new approach, which was further expressed by their activity at the trade deadline. The additions of P.J. Washington and Daniel Gafford have given Dallas the athleticism and versatility, enhancing their ability to compete at both ends of the floor at a higher tempo. On the floor now, and here's Gafford! Oh, to and especially now with the opportunity to get uh -oh. another one. P.J. Washington! Another give Luka all the credit for giving it out to Josh Green. 
Since the return of Irving to the Mavs, they have gone 22-19. and 19. Now, while that does sound disappointing, in that time span, Kyrie has averaged 27.9 points per game, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists on an impressive 50.5% efficiency. Not to mention Luka's average of 34.5 points per game, 8.9 rebounds, and 9.7 assists. He's arguably a top MVP candidate this season, to say the very least. He's one of the best basketball players in the NBA. He has been since he stepped foot in the NBA. He's been dominant for the first year. Because the question was always, okay, well, but they're not winning. Now they are. Perk, have you changed your MVP ladder again? I have, but Luka is not number one. Kyrie's role as a primary scorer is key to the Mavericks' offensive system. His unique ability to navigate through tight defenses, combined with sharp shooting from beyond the arc, forces teams to constantly be vigilant, allowing him to break down team defenses, creating scoring opportunities for himself or his teammates. However, Irving's impact extends beyond his scoring capabilities. His presence as an off-ball threat significantly enhances the Mavericks' offensive dynamics. By drawing defenders' attention, he opens up the floor for Doncic and other teammates to exploit gaps in the defense. High school. Wow! Jumper by Kyrie Irving. He's finally coming down the lane and lays it in off the feet from Kyrie. That's a slip right there. Off that Dallas nope. Mavericks sideline. Irving hits for three. Additionally, Irving's utilization in screening roles exemplifies the Mavericks' tactical adaptability. Setting screens for Doncic or other ball handlers, Irving not only creates mismatches but also disrupts defensive assignments, leading to confusion and open shots. Check six consecutive wins, Kyrie Irving free here in the first quarter. Third and final meeting this season. Doncic with a Kyrie Irving, puts on the brakes, three is in. And Doncic from three, late closed by Booker. The Dallas Mavericks currently rank 13th in defense in the NBA. They've demonstrated a remarkable transformation that complements their offensive firepower. Their defensive rating leading into the All-Star break proves their commitment to giving their all on both ends of the court. But their main addition that has propelled their defensive change this season is their rookie, Derek Lively. Lively has been the ultimate complement to Luka's game. He made his money in this league and he follows Doncic inside. Help me, help me. Oh, Lively, off that baseline! <laughs> Jordan Tyson Chandler was to them winning a championship, but Derek Lively would get to the game. Locked on. Yes. And there's yes. the last move. Yes. Yes. He's got yes. it! Yes. Not only has he been able to showcase his amazing ability to fit in, but he's been able to come in and provide much needed rim protection, averaging 1.5 blocks per game. He's been one of the main reasons Kyrie and Luka have been able to play the way they have this season. But it hasn't been completely a smooth ride this season. There are just some days where regardless of what these two bring to the table, some things just can't be avoided. 13 points, 8 assists, 7 rebounds. Holiday 11.7 assists. Orford 12 points, 8 rebounds. After going on a 7-game win streak, their momentum was short in Indiana, suffering a 22-point loss to the Pacers. Since then, the team have lost 4 of their last 5 games. With about 20 games left this season, they're looking to turn it around. When both stars are healthy and available, they've been able to combine for some of the most intense offensive numbers every game. In just one game last season, the pair combined for 82 points and 18 assists in just a single game, all whilst cooking the called MVP. know what you're thinking either could probably achieve that themselves this season but we'll leave that conversation for another video the pair are undeniably a cornerstone of the dallas mavericks's revival as a powerhouse in the nba this dynamic duo has redefined the team's identity blending Doncic's playmaking wizardry with irving scoring to create a virtually unstoppable offensive force the chemistry between these two superstars has risen above the initial skepticism, turning the Mavericks into a team that not only competes at the highest level, but also poses a significant threat to any opponent in the playoffs. What makes the Doncic-Irving partnership particularly dominant is their mutual respect 
understanding of each other's games. Both players have shown a willingness to adapt and adjust their styles to maximize their impact. This has led to games with Luka dropping 70, or Kyrie averaging 37 in a seven game span. This deadly duo has given the Mavericks a level of versatility fans haven't seen since the 2011 championship of Dirk Nowitzki and Jason Kidd. And the MVP of this series with an average of 26 points and almost 10 rebounds a game, Dirk Nowitzki. <laughs> In fact, since then, the Dallas Mavericks had not made it out of the first round until 2022 when they went to the conference finals. But the big question is, will the duo win a championship? Let's do a fundamental list, the top five title contenders, according to Tim Legler. Let's go. It's Mavericks. We didn't talk enough about what they did at the trading deadline. It seemed like minor moves adding Gafford, P.J. Washington. I think they were significant. As the Dallas Mavericks approach the postseason, the team still has a few things to figure out if they want to make a decent push and avoid the plan. With the Lakers only two games behind them, things could get ugly for the Mavs if they don't start picking things up. The play-in tournament currently looks like this. We all know that when the Kings, Warriors, and Lakers are in form, it's not a good sight for any team. The Mavericks' path to the playoffs has been marked by significant roster changes aimed at complementing their stars. The strategic acquisitions of players like P.J. Washington and Daniel Gafford have addressed critical needs, adding depth and versatility to the team. As Dallas continues to make strategic adjustments, their adaptability and tactical depth have become obvious, enabling them to overcome challenges and capitalize on their strengths. Health remains a paramount concern as the playoffs loom. The ability of the Mavericks to maintain their core duo's fitness and continue harnessing their remarkable synergy will be crucial to their postseason ambition. There's a high potential for Mavs fans to see less of Kyrie toward the end of the season due to his high proneness to injury around playoff time. It's crucial that Luka and the role players are able to step up if they want any chance of seeing the best version of Kyrie when it matters most. Gets it into Irving. Two seconds left. Irving stops, takes, and hits! Kyrie, a bomb! Oh! One on one, Irving puts it up. Let's go! Kyrie Irving from downtown! The team's current form suggests they are not only prepared for a deep playoff run, but also possess the potential to challenge for the NBA Finals. The Dallas Mavericks' season has been a testament to growth, adaption, and the power of partnership. The emergence of Doncic and Irving as a powerhouse duo has captivated fans and analysts alike, signaling the Mavericks' readiness to contend at the highest level. As they navigate the remainder of the season and step into the playoff arena, their story will continue to unfold with a balanced attack, strategic depth, and the undeniable impact of their star duo, the Mavericks are positioned to embark on a playoff run that could reach a point in realizing their championship aspirations. This potential marks a significant chapter in the franchise's history, with Luka going into his sixth year and Kyrie nearing the end of his prime, this playoff run could be a pivotal moment in both players' careers.